Hi party people, Michael here with the second episode of our review of the sweet, sweet, small HE702 Lite BBM. This time we're going to bring it on an actual shoot where clothing is optional and put the hardware and firmware to the test. We brought a lovely model in and had our equally lovely photographer, Georgia, take a stab at doing a video boudoir using the A7S Mark II. We added some super sexy Carl Zeiss Milvis and Otis lenses, and of course the small HD 702 Lite. The 7 inch monitor looks almost comically large on the compact A7S Mark II, but with the Canon battery, the rig is pretty lightweight and actually counterbalances the fatty tastic Zeiss lenses. We shot an internal 4K and 1080p60 for slow motion. The brightness of the monitor is perfect for the indoor location, and the focus assist, waveform, and false colors all helped in creating a sexy tastic image. Gosh, it's a a little hot in here. Plus, the small HD 500 and 700 series monitors have a couple of new snazzy tricks up their sleeves, with a new version 2.2 firmware. The two biggest improvements are the inclusion of the built-in log to Rec. 709 LED collection for many popular log curves. And finally, freaking finally, the vector scope has come into town. It's no longer just coming soon, if you remember that sh they ain't winning any spelling bees, that's for sure. The built in LUTs are super handy, especially when you're just too damn lazy to put in your own LUT using the SD card slot. They have a bunch of different log profiles, like Airy Log C, Black Magic Film, Canon Log, V Log, Sony S Log, and even GoPro Pro Tune Flat. I played around with the Sony S Log 3, Canon Log, and GoPro Pro Tune LUTs. The LUTs adjusted blacks properly. However, the highlights clipped into posterization clippy fugliness too quickly, making me feel like I was overexposing my footage when I really wasn't. So the built-in LUTs are great for taking a quick look to see if you have your mid-tones and shadows in a good place, but I wouldn't keep them on due to the misleading highlights clipping. So for the boudoir shoot, we exported one of our favorite film convert looks as a LUT, which has really nice highlights roll off and loaded it into the monitor. Now onto the vector scope. The vector scope has settings for customizable size, positioning, and opacity. And like a proper vector scope, it has a guide to help us find the right skin tone. <clears throat> and it's very helpful in getting the right white balance. Especially when you have a room like this with blue bouncing off the walls onto her whoa, 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 whoa. All right, keep on playing it. Now the vector scope is affected by the LUT when activated which is actually very useful, since log usually doesn't give much for the vector scope to work with. And now, the resolution. Some may diss the 702 Lite for being 720p resolution as opposed to the bright model's 1080p resolution, but after staring at a half-naked lady on the screen for hours, honestly, we didn't mind. The resolution difference, that is. The focus tools on these monitors are already awesome, but don't take my word for it, we asked these other filmmakers what they thought. Which one is better quality? I'm just trying to see which one's sharper. Is this the only angle? <laughs> <laughs> you can see more of the hair. I don't see a difference. Huge difference. What are you talking about? Huge. I don't see a difference. No. How long? How long do I have to take to make an no, answer? No, no. Take take can your just, time. Can I just? I would probably pick the left one, and but if I had this one, I I would be fine as well. So, hmm. is there a big difference? Well, this is a 720. How this can you tell? This is a 1080. Are you looking Re at what I'm looking at? It's so obvious. Um, um that that one. Wrong. So there you have it. When you have half naked ladies on the screen, nobody gives a sh if it's 720p or 1080p. Actually, it doesn't matter. But if you're the kind of cameraman who likes to squish his eyeballs against the screen while operating, get the Bright model. You can head over to smallhd.com to learn more about these monitors, and remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, because we're about to review the Zeiss Milvis lenses that we used to shoot the boudoir session with. And there will be a healthy dose of skin tone. See you kids next time. Exit to my right this time. <laughs> no sh there's my shadow. Dun 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 I don't I can't do uh
Oh, that's a dog. I did it. I can do it. Hello. Subscribe to the channel. What? Oh, are you eating the dog? Eat the dog. I don't even know if it's aligned.